Hello my friends, how are you today? Uh, lately I did a, a video on, uh, on voice meter. Voice meter banana, it's uh, one of the version of uh, voice meter. And voice meter is the software I'm using uh, to fast record my piano if I want or uh, to broadcast my sound. to OBS. So let's go over this uh, freeware. This is a freeware uh, software. And see what's going on here, okay? So here is the Voice Meter uh, uh, website. Uh, you can write Voice Meter. And there is the sample version. This is the sample version, the most uh, 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 light version. There is the banana. The banana, it's got more features and recording features. And this is what I'm using. And there is the potato. And it's more channels and more features. But I'm using the banana, so this is what I will concentrate. Even though I download the three of them and install the three of them, but on the daily basis, I'm using only this banana. So this is the... the interface okay so now let's go let's turn back the sound here and let me show you what's going on here after you are installing it there are three outputs a1 a2 and a3 i'm using only the a1 m and i'm using the osio umc osio driver of my sound card my uh, behringer umc euphoria 1820 it's a eight uh, channel, uh, eight input and I think 10 in output uh, ch channel uh, sound, sound card driver, a uh, sound, sound card. And now when I'm connecting to the audio, now let's go to the menu and let's see what's going on here. So you can decide which channel strip will go to which side and the third one I will leave blank but if I have two pianos I can put both of them and as you can see on the first strip the in one you see outward input one I put the piano stereo third and four it's the input on my sound card and my microphone on five and five. And as you can see, so, and you can uh, 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 use your bu uh, buffering house you here, you can change the preset to, usually I will recommend you to use 256 or 512. And that's, that's it for now. And of course, you can, you can uh, um, you can decide the recorder options, as you can see, the prefix of the file, where it will be on the documents was meter, which bars to record, let's, let's choose the bars. Let's say B1, okay. Now it will record everything under B1. And what, what does it mean for us? So if I want to record only the piano, I Okay, so this is how it works. And of course, if I'll go to menu again and tape recorder options, I can decide if I want it in, on MP3, wave, uh, which is the sample rate, which is the resolution, 60-bit, 24-bit sample rate. It can be 48-bit. If I go to wave, then I can go up to 192,000. instead of 44, 40, uh, 44, 100 hertz, 
and of course I can go to 24 bits of the resolution. So it's pretty a uh, high high end recording, let's say. I'm usually using the the MP some space and 129 you can go to up to um, a 320 bit uh, kilobyte per second. But I think that uh, 192, it's okay. It's it's fairly good. So now if I want to record, I will press here the record and it will start. They start, this will start recording. And one of the nice features here is this, um, this feature, you can see it. I will do it with my voice. Okay, this is the low side, this is the high side, and I like to put it here, so it's sort of an equalizer that the uh, input, you see there is an echo here, now I took away the echo, but it's nice, you know, and also the piano. So this piano is the core grand stage I'm having here. And the core grand stage, as uh, other pianos, other digital pianos, doesn't have internal recorder. So if you want to record it, you have to use uh, uh, an external uh, recorder from the left and right output from this uh, keyboard. And this is a great way to record it. So now, instead of leaving the sound, I'm looking to the most rich sound I can get from the piano. of course this is recording everything I'm doing okay so this is a uh, now I'll go to the system and I delete the local control now it's only a MIDI keyboard and I'm playing the keyboard now and you can't hear nothing but there is a uh, something that I want you to see and it's how to use it with the contact player and of course, uh, by the way, why, why did I ask my first one? Because you need to change here between the outs to the voice meter input. Okay. And now when I put, le let's say like a, a YouTube video, let's take uh, another one. Let's take a YouTube video or anything else, in fact. Um, let's see something that I can broadcast without getting strikes. Let's go to my channel and uh, open one of these videos. Now you can see, you will hear it. So I can transmit, I can record, I can use it as a, you see this is a recording. Now you, you, you're supposed to hear this. Yes, you are hearing this. And now, let's do something else, and let's uh, open the, the contact. And from the contact, let's go to this foundation. Foundation, this is a free, free piano for, for contact. And, of course, in the contact, you can go to the engine and define the voice meter as the Ausio sound card 
Of course, and the, your MIDI. Something is a little bit... Uh, So this buffering also. So let's take it to the default. Okay, it's on the default, but here Let's take it to 256, I suppose 500 and the 512 supposed to be a little bit better in fact, but yes, as I thought, let's close it and let's open it again and see what's going on. Maybe it will fix the problem. Now you can see it here on the channel here. You can see this channel. You see it? And of course you can walk your way again. And here you can change the equalizer here with these three knobs and now let's record So as you can hear, uh, I can play with whichever instrument I want. And of course, the next one will be, let's open the piano colors a little bit. I forgot about this. This BST, I didn't play in the, on it long time. And it's recording everything now. And let's stop the recording here. And let's go to, you can see it, you see it? Tutorial, tutorial. This is from 11. So this is the last one. You can hear it. And it's recording everything now. So you can hear it's the, it's the, it's the top quality little files. Let's see what the, 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 the size of this file, one, 1.35 megabytes. Okay, so easy to record without opening any door. And of course, you can do another things with it. So. If I want to use my door, because I don't want to use a, 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 a VST that opens with the, its own uh, player, but only a VST that plays through door. So I will open Cakewalk. This is a, a Frida, a free DAW from uh, BandLab. Go and make a, a new project. And I'll go to take some uh, sounds. Let's take this... Uh, 
סינמטיק, סופט פיאנו פרום ספיט פייר, אוריגינל סיריאס. And let's up, it's fell down. Why, why is it happening? Let's see. I don't know. It's crashed. I don't know why. Let's see the edit preference, which is, okay, it's on the voice meter, so it's supposed to work. Don't know why it fell down, but let's try again with this piano again and see maybe it's the piano that's doing the, these problems. Don't know. Let's see. So this is the cinematic soft piano. I'm waiting it to to uh, uh, load to load the sample the samples when this light will be only green it means that it loads all the samples and this number here will stop so now we are on 20 230 megabytes okay all almost 300 megabytes of sample Now I can't hear, I cannot hear the action. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe this one will help. Don't know. Maybe. Apply. No, it's not giving me this. So the UMC, UMC, apply, close. Why I can't hear it? Maybe it's the output, let's see. Why doesn't it work? Let's take this one off. Maybe it's a problem with this uh, plug-in. Let's take the contact again. And let's take the Maverick. Yes, now it's working, so what's the problem there? So why the felt piano, the cinematic piano does not work? This is strange. Here, it's crushing my cakewalk. Maybe it's a problem with this specific uh, VST. I, I will need to check it out, but let's open another one from the same company. Let's take the firewood and let's see what's going on here. So I'm waiting for the CPU to stop uh, blinking this light and to to load all the sample. This is a bigger sample set. This is a almost 400 megabytes. Not almost. It's four mar 400 megabytes. But, in a weird way, it's not working. So let's check it out later. Now, 
let's take another one just to be sure this is the problem with Spitfire and not all the not all the VST I've got yes this is a problem with the Spitfire I will check it later So as you can see, everything is working so I can make my videos, I can uh, demonstrate my instruments, and you are getting my microphone sound from directly from this channel and not from inside of the DAW. And the DAW is provid providing me the in, in, in insta how can I say it? Uh, the, the base for uh, using my VSTs and it's not uh, uh, and I can use the sound from the VST to the OBS through this voice meter so this is a, a multifunctional uh, option to record, to, bro to broadcast everything you need in one uh, one nice package you know one simple nice package that doesn't cost you anything So many digital pianos does not have internal rec uh, recorders or they have a, a recorder that is not recording a, a audio, it's just recording the MIDI and just internally. So this is a very good solution because you can record your MIDI on the DAW. You can also record the audio there, but... But if you want to record, fast record your piano, just open this uh, app and just play, hit the record here and that's all. And you are set to go. Okay, so. So this was uh, my uh, sort of a review. This is my way of making videos and uh, and record my uh, sessions now I can close this uh, up this DAW and go back to the to the internal sound of my Korg So this is the end of this review. It's, it's not a review, it's sort of a trick you can use. So this is free software, as I told you before. This one and uh, this is the site, VB Audio Software. And uh, 
this is very uh, and of course as I told you you can change the EQ of your piano get more bass So as you can see, there are three versions. I recommend uh, to use the banana if you want more, more channels, but a little bit uh, uh, more latency, the potato. And the voice meter is the least, uh, the basic voice meter is the, last, uh, the least uh, latency, but the problem with it is it does not have the recording options as the banana and the potato. And uh, the, there are more features here, you know, there is a, a automatic compression to each channel. Uh, you can use the compression and you can use uh, the uh, gate, gate noise. So the, your, your uh, 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 audience won't hear the, the noise around you or your keyboard playing or things like that because As you see here, this is without the gate, so you can hear each sound around me. And this is when I'm taking the gates on, and when I stop talking, it will be dead silence, so you can play, hear me playing only. Now you see I, I, I disable it and you hear the action. And now when I put it a little bit up, So you see, this is very practical tool. And uh, that's it for now. There are more features here, but this is the basics. Inputs, outputs, everything. This is like a, a, a mixer with audio on your computer and with recorder, built-in recorder. So this is sort of a door, but it works with your doors and your programs and everything. around it so and it's free so <laughs> and this is a double win sort of uh, thank you for um thank you for listening to me and i will meet you